Reel it in, I got a bag, tell a friend, she's got a potato. I'm peeling it, I am the news, CNN, yeah. Hey, but not Vsauce, Corey here. Uh, the lighting is pretty bad, let's uh, let's move. Hey, how you doing today, little mama? Guys, today, as you may know, it is Sunday, which means it's time for another episode of Spooky Scary Sunday. We had to skip the last two Sundays. Y'all already know what's going on with my family. We got another animator that we're reacting to today. I got permission. I think it's called Scar Snarled or something. But I talked to the lady. She was super dope, and um, it's about to be lit. But before that, come on. Y'all already know, it's night time. Matter of fact, y'all just come in the cover with me. Cause I don't know what to choose. That's not a setup. Come on, come on! Look at this shy thing. How many years we known each other? You just subscribed yesterday? What the freak are you doing? We got, obviously, we got fish. But I mean, who not feeling this fat can of ravioli though? You know what I mean? No? I'm, I'm gonna grab a water. <laughs> Okay, the first story is Babysitter's Worst Clown Nightmare. Now, this story was actually recommended by the creator herself. Snarled, I'm a big fan. We talked on Twitter, remember? Momo, you ready for this? Hope this leaf is your ear. Don't do it again. I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? Hey. So a few years ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa! An animator revealing their true look-alike. I mean, what identity? So a few years ago. There was a pretty well-off family that lived in a really big house in Newport Beach, California. Uh -huh. A mother, a father, and two small kids. And okay. one night, the parents decided that they wanted a night out for themselves. So they hired a babysitter. Okay. She was maybe about 16 years old. So when the babysitter got there, the parents gave her a little rundown of what to do. Right, right. And the mom pulled her aside and said, once you finish tucking the kids in, do you mind watching TV in our bedroom? The kids have been having nightmares lately and waking up screaming. And our room is right next to theirs. And so it's a lot easier to get to them. Yeah, sure, I can do that. So the babysitter- No, 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 no. hold up, hold up. My eyes watering. Something is wrong. <laughs> Y'all know I got scary sense. Something is wrong. So after you debriefing me about what to do with your kids, you pull me to the side and say, by the way, can you watch TV in our room? What's going on with the rest of the house? My eyes start watering, something is wrong. Children waved goodbye to their parents. So after a few hours of watching TV, it was time for bed. And as she was tucking them in, one of the kids said, please don't let the clown get us. Of course, I'm not gonna let anything happen to oh! you. So she turned off the lights and went next door to the parents' room like the mom had asked. But the second that she stepped inside, she froze. In the far corner of the room was a clown statue. Just a really lifelike, detailed, creepy statue. No wonder what? these kids have been having nightmares, she thought to herself. So she went and sat on the bed and tried to watch some that TV. That thing just but staring at me. looking over at the statue. Was the statue looking at me like that before? It was way too creepy for her, so she decided to go downstairs to the living room and watch TV there until the parents came back. Thank so you. So she's watching some TV for a while, and then her phone rings, and it's the parents just checking in. Hey, we're on our way home. Just wanted to check in and see how things are going. Everything's great. The kids are all asleep and in bed. I hope it's okay, but I decided to watch TV downstairs uh -oh. instead. Uh -oh. Gear statue was really creeping me out. Um, I'm sorry, what statue? I'm sorry, what statue? Look at my headphones. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There was a real clown midget. My dude was just in the corner like these. Move the chair. He was in the corner like. <laughs> Oh, that's a creepy statue. Meanwhile, this man is breathing over there. Watching you walk around the room. The clown statue in your room 
It's really creepy, so I decided to leave the room. Get the kids now. Wait, what? Get the kids and get out of the house now. We don't have a statue. Just then, she heard screams. She dropped the phone oh and ran up the stairs. The bedroom seemed so much farther than it did before. She opened the door, but she was too late. Oh my! So apparently there was a little person serial killer that would dress up as clowns and break into people's houses and murder people. I really hope that never actually happened. This really is an urban legend, but... What Oh, this ain't llama arts on this channel. People be getting bodied at the end of the story. Sapphire, why'd you send this to me? Now I'm about to be... Y'all heard the story. This goes to all my parents samurai out there. If your kids is telling you it's a clown running around in a little clown suit, they might be telling the truth. <laughs> All right, we're gonna watch one more snarl. This story is called, Have You Heard of Hachishaku-sama, The Japanese Slender Man? Now, boku wa kori kenshin desu. Nihongo ga hanaseru yo. Soshite, boku wa kuroi. Ima, scary story kiku. There is something dangerous of abducting children in this area. Hey, I'm Sapphire. What? Wanna hear something scary? Yo, I like our little intros. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? <laughs> what, you're, what you're saying is I'm not as good at it. Hey, my name's Corey. Want to twerk in my... Hey. 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 You've heard of the Slender Man, but have you heard yeah. of the tall, slender woman? This next chapter is a Japanese urban legend called Hachishaku-sama, which means eight feet tall. Dang! My grandparents live in a small village in Japan. <laughs> Every summer, my parents would take me there on holiday to visit them. The last time I saw them was the summer when I was eight years old. My grandparents were inside the house and I was playing by myself outside in the backyard. I heard a strange sound. I didn't know what it was and it was hard to figure out where it was coming from. Cryptic, risey, sample that. <laughs> Sample this, I'm rapping over this in the next Spooky Scary Sundays. Strange sound. I didn't know what it was and it was hard to figure out where it was coming from. I was looking around, searching for the source of the noise, when I noticed something on top of the tall hedges that enclosed the backyard. Okay. It was a straw hat. It wasn't resting on the hedge, it was behind it. Oh. That's where the sound was coming from. Then that means the hat standing. began to move. It stopped at a small gap in the hedge. Oh. And I could see a face peering through. Oh, hey, it was a woman, but the hedges were high, almost eight feet tall. I was surprised at how tall the woman was. I wondered if she was wearing stilts or some sort of huge high-heeled shoes. Nah. Then a split second later, she walked off and the strange noise disappeared with her, fading into the distance. <laughs> Confused, what I got up noise? and ran back into the house. My grandparents were in the kitchen drinking tea. I sat down at the table and told my grandparents what I had seen. They weren't really paying attention to me until I mentioned that distinctive sound. They both froze. <laughs> oh, she could do it too. Grandma's eyes grew wide and she covered her mouth with her hand. Grandpa's face became very serious and he grabbed me by the arm. This is very important, he said, very intensely. All right. How tall was she? Eight as tall feet. as the garden hedge? Where was she standing? When did this happen? What did you do? Did she see you? I tried yes, to answer all those questions everything. as best as I could. He rushed out to the hallway and made a phone call. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but after he hung up, he walked out the door. Grandma? He did. What's going on? There's something dangerous abducting children in this area, she said. We call it Hachi Shakusama. It takes on the appearance of an extremely tall woman and says, Hey, you know I'm listening to a scary story right now. You scared the freak out of me. My sister freaking breaking into my house. What's going on? What do you do? Record. 
Huh? This car is out front. It's a car out front? Uh, did I interrupt you? Yeah. That's how oh. I, I had to press pause. I was like. <laughs> Back to the Hachi Shakusama. Hachi means eight, by the way. <gasps> eight. Eight foot tall. Oh my gosh. How did I just realize that? In a deep voice. A long time ago, it was captured by monks and they managed to confine it in a ruined building on the outskirts of the village. They trapped it using four jizo, small religious statues that they placed at the north, south, east, and west of the ruins so that it could not escape. But somehow, it did. The last time it appeared was 15 years ago. My grandmother said that anyone who saw it was destined to die within a few days. It all sounded so crazy. I wasn't sure what to believe. Just then, my grandpa came back, but with an old woman who called herself Kason. They took me upstairs to my bedroom and began covering the windows with newspaper, with ancient runes written all over them. Kason placed small bowls of salt in all four corners of the room yes. and a small Buddha figure in the center. Give me the protection! Soon, the sun will be setting, so listen carefully. You must stay in this room until 7.30 tomorrow morning. Do not open this door for any reason. She placed... You know I got a question right off jump. Where am I supposed to pee? I'm gonna have to get a bucket. Just a bucket in my hands. Not even to use the restroom. My grandparents and Kason left the room and I locked the door after them. I couldn't believe what was happening. Yeah. Was I really gonna die in a few days? I turned on the TV the story, to try no. to take my mind off everything and eventually fell asleep. I was awakened around 1 a.m. by a tapping sound on the window. No. It's probably no. just a tree or something, I told myself. Then came a knock on the door, and I heard my grandpa's voice. Are you okay in there? If you're scared, I can come keep you company. Hearing his voice no. was so oh, I was out thinking, I rushed over to the door. But something didn't feel right. Yeah. I looked at the bowls of salt in the room. All four of them had turned black. And then I heard the sound again. Bro, this is creepy. The tapping on the window continued. I knelt in front of the Buddha and began to pray. I was so terrified and caught up in my chanting that I didn't realize the sounds had stopped. I checked my watch. It was 7.30 a.m. Carefully, I opened the door and ran to my grandparents. We all got in a van and headed straight for the airport. Apparently, there were others who had waited. escaped the grasp no, 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 no. I would have waited till at least noon. Hachi Sakusama, as long as they never stepped foot in Japan again. So two years ago, when my grandpa got sick, he refused to let me visit him. He even left strict instructions in his will to not let me attend his funeral. I couldn't believe that this creature prevented me from saying goodbye to him. So when my grandma called a few days ago to tell me she had been diagnosed with cancer, I wasn't going to let her stop me from visiting. It's been 10 years, Grandma, and nothing has happened to me. We don't even know if this thing is there. real. I'm not going to let it stop me from seeing you. No. If you say so, dear. I love you, Grandma. I'll see you soon. <laughs> like this video, <laughs> give the chills, and don't... Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, my gosh. First of all, that monster is a freaking idiot. I would have went over there until I heard that noise. All right, so I told you guys in order to send me scary stories for Spooky Scary Sunday to go on Twitter, hashtag SSS, Spooky Scary Sunday, at me, at Corey Kenshin, and then drop the link to the story. First ever samurai recommendation comes from Wolf of Fry with a story called Who's Hungry? I don't like it already. I don't like it already. <laughs> hey, look at the arm! Hey! Mm -mm. You're gonna regret that. Ah, it's not a good idea. It's not. Yeah, done. David, I'm a big fan. Please don't copyright strike me. 
The video will be linked in the description. So these kids. Oh my. Oh. Where's her brother? <gasps> oh! That was the last victim! Oh, he's frozen. He's done. What's he doing with it? Oh! <laughs> Blended him! You gotta get out of here. This is on some little nightmares right now. Why is he so freaking gigantic compared to them? Uh oh. Don't make any noise. Bro, tell me she ain't Sasha Six right now. <laughs> yep. Why you got the hiccups? Okay, he ain't put a lock on it. He ain't put a lock on it. It's time to be a hero. He literally eats kids. We need a distraction. Nope. Don't make up. Don't make up. Oh, she going for the kill. Oh. What? She hit him? She got him? Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is all your freaking fault. Big Willie. All right, come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Again? I have no... And you eating kid, by the way. Stop eating that. Come on! <clears throat> oh! <laughs> You're done! You're done! It's all freaking- Oh, got him! Where I got him? Oh my god! Bro, it! Woo oh no! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Woo she is a savage! David, everybody clap that up. Yo, big old freaking jelly bean brother. But we gotta give him credit though. He saved her life at the end because she was about to get shredded, literally. All right, you guys, leave your favorite story down in the comments. Shout out to Sapphire. Thank you for blessing me with permission. If you have some scary videos you wanna see me react to, you already know what to do. Twitter, hashtag, Spooky Scary Sunday, triple S, at Corey Kenshin, story link, right there. Now you have a good rest of your Sunday. Hopefully you guys enjoy the episode of Sisters of Samurai. Slice that like button, subscribe today to join a Samurai. Until next time, my brothers and sisters. Cause my name is Corey Kenshin, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs>